Sleeping Dogs is a fun and refreshing action RPG from Square Enix. On sale now for the frankly ridiculous price of £3. I'm sure some of you are like, Shut up and take my money! But in case you need a bit of help deciding, let's look at five reasons why you should buy this straight away. Before we do, I just want to say thanks to all of my new subscribers and all of you that have been posting comments. I appreciate every single one of you and I love chatting with you. So while we're on the subject, please drop me a like, comment and subscribe. Now, back to our list. At five, it's the GTA we never got. Sleeping Dogs feels very much like GTA Hong Kong. You have a large open world so you can pretty much go wherever you want and do all the stuff you want to do in open world games. You know, like running people over, beating the snot out of NPCs, wheelies, donuts, and my new favourite, wheelie donuts. The format will be familiar to many. Missions spawn all over the map, so you can work through the story missions and as many of the side missions as you want. There are collectibles, races and challenges, like the wheelie length and clean driving ones that remind me very much of GTA San Andreas. Focusing on side missions early on does really help you level up and earn cash, so I definitely recommend that. Number four, those graphics. Now, I'm not going to say this is a full AAA game, but it's definitely a solid two and a half. Some of the details like movement and driving are not as smooth as say GTA or Watch Dogs, but it's certainly not bad, it's just different. And again, the cutscenes are quite poor by modern standards. All this said, if they were to do a sequel now on current gen, I think this would have no equal in this genre. But the environment is just incredible. With all the neons, the busy traffic, the busy streets, they really bring Hong Kong to life. It looks especially good in the rain. So yeah, this is not a new game, so you can't compare it to RDR2. Well, I mean, you can't really compare anything to Red Dead 2. Makes me real sad. But come on, this is three quid. Three quid. Playing on PS5, gameplay is smooth and seems mostly glitch free. Cutscenes can be a bit choppy. I've heard of some people talk about issues launching a new game on the PS5, but that's not something I've experienced. At number three, innovative story. Any open world RPG needs a plot. And I love what they've done with this one. You play as Wei Shen, an oh, undercover guys, cop who makes Dirty Harry look like a boy yeah. scout. Well, I'm all broken up about that. Working to infiltrate the triads, you need to keep both the cops and the triads happy. Now that means you need to switch between triad missions and cop missions. And this keeps things fresh because you've always got a really nice variety of things to go through. For each mission type, you level up your character to gain new abilities. Leveling up takes quite a long time though, so it's worth it because this game isn't easy. Don't get me wrong, it's not Last of Us grounded level of difficulty, but it's definitely more of a challenge than GTA and all the better for it. At number two, surprisingly, the combat. Now this really should be number one, but you'll see why it isn't in a minute. The combat in this game is exceptional. There are guns and weapons, but unlike other open world RPGs, Sleeping Dogs focuses on close hand-to-hand -hand combat and it does this really well. In the beginning, you can pretty much just mash buttons to get through. But as you progress, you need to be much more aware, managing your area, choosing the right opponent to target, as you'll always be vastly outnumbered. The fighting controls are actually quite simple, but the number of combinations available to you is really large, with most of them relying on good timing and awareness of your enemy's position. So the further you progress, the less button mashing you'll be able to get away with. You get new combinations by collecting the jade statues and returning them to your martial arts teacher. After a quick practice, you'll get a new bone crunching combo to unleash on your opponents. And the combat itself feels really satisfying. The movement is fluid, the hard strikes and combos feel painful. And the way opponents roll around and scream in pain when the bones snap is a really great way to de-stress after a long day. When you get used to the controls, You'll find yourself controlling the fight so you can finish enemies by doing really horrible things to their heads like this. But at number one, it's the price. How can this not be number one? Did I mention it's three quid? Three pounds. It's less than a coffee. So for just one day, skip your coffee, have some water and buy this. So Sleeping Dogs is available now for three pounds from the PlayStation Store. So like, subscribe and go buy it. Do it. Do it. We're fast approaching November's PS Plus Essentials release. There are no reliable leaks yet, but I'll be keeping an eye out. Also, remember to pick up Uncharted 4 while it's still free. Check my short on this and I will be doing a video on that shortly. Thanks for watching, see you soon.